Hello, I'm Tom from Smart Aerials, and welcome to video number three of our how to series how to make a coax plug for a TV aerial connection. Um, tools you're going to need for this are one coax plug, one section of cable, one set of cutters, and one Stanley blade. Uh, if you've got a sharp Stanley blade, that will help. This one isn't very sharp, so um, also be a bit careful if you've got a sharp one because you might cut right through it. You have to be very delicate. But let's begin. Uh, actually, I'll do this over by the camera. Uh, for those of you who've watched uh, videos one and two of this series, you notice this bit of cable. It's the same bit of cable I've been using. <laughs> uh, so we're going to start with the cable. We're going to bear about a, a couple of centimetres, maybe a little bit more. It doesn't matter if you've got too much. Uh, we're going to go round it and make a little incision around it. So we've got like a, like a little ring around the cable. Uh, now if we just bend that back, that should just pull off. Um, it might not pull off, you might have to sort of get some pliers or cutters or something, but if I just pull that, that's going to come off. Now, we've got the cable like that. So, we've got the braid. We've got the copper screen. Um, uh, for those who are interested, this is what good cable looks like. It's copper, copper. Um, take that back. And actually, a copper inside as well. Um, crap cables are made of, sort of aluminium and tin, and we, we don't really want to use them. So, we get it like that. Then, I'll put that down there, we have to take apart the coax plug. So that just screws like that. That drops out of that. And if I get that out of there, we have got four bits. That bit, that bit, that bit, that bit. Now, you probably didn't see all them, but it would make more sense when I start putting it together. First things first, we want to put this bit on. So that's the bit that goes over there, that's the bit we're tying it on. Next, we want to clamp back the braid with that bit. So that literally goes on there to give it a spin, and it'll get in position for you. So it's like that. So we want that braid pulled back, because when we cut the, the next bit, the, the dielectric, that's the, the white bit, we want to make sure not one bit of that is touching the inside, otherwise you've got a short and it won't work properly. Um, so. About half a centimetre in, cut round again, and completely remove that bit. So we've got the um, the inner core looking like that. Uh, now there's a lot, lots of ways people do this. Personally, I just bend that like that. If it's bent, then that'll just slot on top of that. And now because it's bent, it's making a sort of permanent connection with this bit here. Um, a lot of people I know. Or crimp that. Uh, I don't do that because you, you can't really reuse the plug without well, you can but it's never the same again so if I nip that bit off there then we let that and literally the last remaining bit which is that bit that goes on there and then we take that up and do it nice and tight like that. Voila one coax plug. So if you like this video, if it's, of, if it's of use to you, please do give the video a like, please do put a comment beneath. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, we're going to do a whole, a whole series showing you how to put TV aerials up, how to put TVs on the walls, how to mount satellite dishes. Uh, you can learn the whole shebang. Um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get that by the way. Uh, and that's it. So I've been Tom Smart from Smart Heels and I'm guaranteeing you a good reception.